Yeah, after watching this, this makes me mad that the sequel trilogy went this direction instead of this direction. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi coming up against a trade federation as they come across the young boy named Anakin Skywalker. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. I absolutely love this movie growing up. I grew up watching this movie on VHS, yes, and I got to see it on the big screen and it was truly a treat, man. It was amazing. I still have the original Droid MTT that they released during the re-release Phantom Menace back in 2011. I was there for it and I was there for it this time and I still have the Droid MTT from that and I'm surprised I actually have this. Or this movie is still holds up, honestly. Check it out, Corporal. We'll cover you. Roger, roger. Uh -oh. <laughs> when I watch this movie, I don't get the hate for it at all. Yeah, I get it. Jar Jar Binks is horrible. Blah, blah, blah. People complain about the acting. Blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Every single character acted like this. The Jedi Council acts like this throughout the Clone Wars. The Sith is slowly rising. Soon, the galaxy will be remade. You don't understand that unless you watch, you know, Clone Wars. They have to stay serious. And that's what I really appreciate about the acting. They know that they have to be serious. All the actors bring their A-game, pretty much. And I really appreciate that. Ray Park, man. Darth Maul as Ray Park. He is awesome. The visual effects for this movie are amazing. Just for comparison, this came out in 1999. This, Spider-Man 1, came out in 2002. This wins. This totally wins. Because the special effects in this movie are truly amazing. The space battle in this movie is awesome. One thing I do also appreciate is how they build up the world. You understand why the blockade is there in front of Naboo. You understand why the Trade Federation is doing this. They are trying to seize a treaty the politics of the world in the new star wars sequel trilogy you don't really understand why the first order is what it is you don't really understand how the politics work in that new trilogy and stab wounds actually count in this movie hello third sister Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? The threat with these characters. Stab wounds actually mean something. It's sure, you have Jar Jar Binks, but honestly, I'm used to Jar Jar Binks' actually well-done effect. He's no Rose, that's for sure. I saved you. Tell me. That's how we're gonna win. Not fighting what we hate. Saving what we love. What? Overall, Star Wars The Phantom Menace on the big screen offers you a new perspective of how amazing the effects are. <laughs> Sure, Jar Jar Binks is annoying. Sure, the acting's a bit stale. But overall, I'm going to give Star Wars The Phantom Menace an A. Yeah, I do really appreciate this movie looking back on it, and I'm glad I got to see it on the big screen. But yeah, that's all for this time. Punch you out like button, face like boss. See you guys in the next row. Bye-bye.